Good morning, RCC ADM. How are you guys doing out there? Today, I wanted to answer the question, what is illustration? And to start, I'd like to talk about my favorite artist, Drew Struzan. Drew Struzan is a famous illustrator who's most well known for his Hollywood movie posters. And over the years, he's created hundreds of posters for some of the most popular movies. Of course, the movies I love, the ones made by Spielberg and George Lucas, all fit into that category and have worked with him at one time or another. Um, but I wanted to show you a little bit about his career, kind of explain a little bit more what illustration is. So um, <clears throat> to really start, we need to go back in, in my memory, back when I was a kid, and start with when I first learned about him. Of course, like many kids growing up in the 80s, I saw his posters advertising um, things like E.T. and Goonies and um, Indiana Jones and Star Wars. Um, what was really cool is my mom always encouraged me with my art and helped me keep up with this stuff. And she found out about an art show uh, in our area at the county library that was showing uh, movie art. And uh, we didn't know entirely what we were going to find when we got there, but uh, here's an example of it. <clears throat> this is the actual catalog book that uh, we picked up there at the show, and it's a collection of movie art from different movie poster artists. And of course, some of the most significant in here were done by Drew Struzan. That's when I f really first started to learn his name. Um, come to find out, he was a local boy. Um, he happened to live in the town near where I grew up. And um, I think we learned that in the newspaper or something. And so uh, I wrote him a fan letter and uh, introduced myself um, as a teenager. Was a little bit embarrassed, but told him of how much I loved his art and everything like that. And uh, he wrote me a nice letter in return. Um, very complimentary and encouraged me to continue uh, my study of art. And so <clears throat> I really loved and admired that. Uh, come to find out even later, uh, some friends of mine were his neighbors and wound up being um, models for the Goonies poster. Missed opportunity. Wish, wish I'd known that and had been able to participate in that. Um, sometimes I even wonder if I had had the courage back then to even uh, talk to him. It's pretty shy about that stuff. But uh, fast forward a few years, always looked at his work and tried to figure out how he did what he did. Um, in, in school, I studied art and then later illustration and uh, tried to, to learn how he worked. Um, he worked in a variety of styles, but mainly um, he worked with airbrush colored pencils, acrylic paint, and you can see examples of that in another book I have of his, which is um, Ove, meaning work, I guess, in French. Um, there's your French lesson for the day. So, there we go. Um, this is one of the posters that uh, I saw in person at that first art show, which was one of the ones he did for uh, Back to the Future, and he ultimately did an entire series of posters and what really blew me away was how large it was it was nearly four feet tall um, it's a large panel and when you looked at it up close you could see the little the little dribbles and the little overspray you could see the pencil marks everything that went into uh, the painting as he was using his airbrush um, let's see here's a couple others of course you can see on the wall um, my other favorites, the Star Wars ones in the background. Um, here's some Harry Potters he did as well. Not too shabby. I'd give him an A. Um, let's see, here's a couple more. Yeah, of course, my all-time favorite were the posters he did for Indiana Jones. Um, this one in particular over here on the left, the one from Indiana Jones and the uh, Temple of Doom, my all-time favorite. And I'll explain in a minute why. So 
What is illustration? Illustration is artwork that tells a story. More than just art for art's sake or something that looks attractive or beautiful or interesting. Look, I got it signed by him too. Um, it's art that tells a story. So you look at it and you go, okay, he's really, really good at portraits. He's really good at likenesses. It's probably why he was one of the most popular artists in Hollywood. But also, he had a way of capturing a story. Look at how he highlights the hero and then, you know, composes the supporting characters along the side. This is all held together in kind of an ellipse. And things have a hierarchy from importance. You know, Indiana being the largest and Henry Jones and so on down below. And then a little action sequence down here below. Believe it or not, when I was in grad school, I took a deep dive into his artwork and studied, you know, what it means to montage or collage pictures together into a single poster. Such an interesting method of storytelling to show different vignettes at different periods of time and what that actually means and how that conveys an entire story all at once. Um, and to me, that's an interesting relationship with how film works as well. Film being multiple images displayed really quickly before our eyes to give us the illusion of storytelling. But in this case, you only get one shot at it and he does it really well. What else is working? Well, what also works is his way he uses color. Oh, here's that Goonies poster. Love that. That could have been me. Um, no, it probably would have been Chunk down there at the bottom. All right, well, color. I was saying something about color. Look at the way he uses color here. So dramatic, the way he uses that, that bright yellow and red, signify that fire, but then that also becomes a light source, illuminating the characters. Really dramatic. Same over here with Crocodile Hana. Not bad. So, <clears throat> I encourage you to seek out his work online. In fact, there's a really awesome uh, documentary about his life and his career on Netflix. And I think it's the man behind the poster, I think is the title. Um, I neglected to look that up before I started shooting. Uh, but anyways, um, there's also some demos that show how he would work uh, traditionally with um, board and pencil, colored pencils, uh, acrylic paint and airbrush uh, to achieve his effects. Um, and you could see how he builds up his his paint and how he builds up his surface and his texture and puts it together into a full piece. Um, had the opportunity of meeting him a few times. He's a very shy and quiet man. At first, uh, when I first met him, I thought um, that uh, he was a little standoffish and maybe, maybe even a little cold. But uh, over time, I've learned that, like many artists, he f is an introvert and doesn't like uh, talking about himself, feels very uncomfortable talking about himself and would prefer that you don't notice him, but instead you notice his art. And uh, I can relate to that a lot, honestly. Um, but in any case, um, that's a little bit about who Drew Struzan is. And I encourage you to, uh, if you've taken an interest in any of this, to search him out. You'll find lots of interesting images and stuff by him online. Um, I myself am a sucker and a collector of illustrators. So periodically, I'm going to share uh, my favorites with you. Um, and uh, maybe you can share your favorites with me too. All right, it's been fun chatting with you. Good luck on your own projects and assignments. And talk to you soon.